Unity or Godot? The red pill or the blue pill? That is the question that many aspiring game devs like myself have asked themselves before. Today, I'm hoping to share my thoughts and hopefully help some make a decision. Does anyone remember thinking from a young age how a video game worked? Like I know that personally, I thought games like Mario, Pokemon, and like, I don't know, Call of Duty were made from some magic substance. Like I didn't even know what programming was. I just thought some magical shit held everything together. Then one day when you got older, you finally decide to look up what this magical substance is and are a bit disappointed to learn. It's literally just strings of weird words holding together the games you've loved since you were a child. For some though, like like myself, it awakens something. For those unfamiliar with it, game engines are basically just frameworks that make developing games significantly easier, cheaper, and less time consuming. These frameworks can be developed by yourself, but for most indie devs, they just use pre-existing game engines. We've all been there. At one point or another, you decided, I'm gonna learn how to make a game and I'm gonna do it today. And the first thing you look up is best game engine. You'll go frantically looking for an answer on Google and end up with an answer about as vague as, it's up to you, bro. You might've heard game engines like Godot, Unity, Game Maker, or Unreal, which are all great options, but depending on the type of games you'll make, you'll end up choosing the engine you deem best for your needs. But for others, like myself, you had your doubts. I chose Unity because at the time I thought things like an established presence with hundreds of tutorials is great, which it is, and that because Unity uses C Sharp, any skills that I learned through it might be applicable for future job applications. While that might be true to some degree, most of the scripting that takes place in Unity is in its own subset of C Sharp, with its own methods, variables, and calls that don't exist anywhere else. Because of this, it makes that experience mostly worthless outside of Unity, and to be frank, I don't really want to end up like a corporate Unity code monkey begging for my bananas. Another personal downside for Unity is just how bloated it feels for me. I'm sure that many Unity devs will disagree with me, but for some reason I can't shake the feeling that the Unity engine feels sluggish and outdated. I mean, take a look at the design. It doesn't exactly scream modernity. Couple that with its overwhelming features and UI and anyone could understand why it might not be your first choice. Enter Godot, a newer engine with a sleek design bolstering pretty powerful capabilities. For a hobbyist like myself, those capabilities will be plenty enough. Not to mention, it kind of matches Game Maker 8.1 in terms of the feeling I have when presented with its tools. Not too overwhelmed, and excited to try messing around. Luckily, it doesn't have the shitty UI that comes with it, but hey, that's a different story. Some of the biggest differences that Godot has compared to other game engines is its node-based system, rather than a traditional hierarchical layout. Hierarchical. Hierarchical. A traditional hierarchical layout. That's a mouthful. Furthermore, it has its own programming language that's optimized to efficiently run scripts. But again, a downside to that is that it only really exists within itself. At least Unity scripting shared some syntax with regular C Sharp. Another critical feature, which to be honest is something I often overlook, is that it's completely open source. That means the code is available to be seen on GitHub and anyone can contribute to it to make it even better. Maybe one day I might even improve the engine. I won't lie. One of the contributing factors for why I stopped uploading all those months ago was because of how unmotivated I felt to develop anything in Unity. It felt like every step I wanted to take, I had to watch tutorial. Pairing that to my development process with Game Maker and hell, even MIT's App Inventor, I picked things up as I went and only used tutorials for the more difficult things. Now at this point, everyone watching probably thinks I have some kind of f vendetta out for Unity, but I don't. Both engines obviously have their pros and cons and making a decision isn't often as black and white as it's depicted. I think that choosing and trying something and then reevaluating your decision is a great way to really reflect on whether or not that choice was the right one for you. Ultimately though, a game engine won't make or break your time as a game dev, as most of the common needed tools are available across all platforms. This is why, going forward, I will be pursuing Godot related game dev projects. In a spur of recent decisions, I've been switching from the big guy to the lesser known guy. Although a lot of the things depicted on screen right now aren't exactly lesser known, but you get the idea. I encourage everyone to step outside their boundaries and to try new things, to challenge conventions, to break the mold, to be the all-star. I want to clarify that by no means am I condemning or shaming any fellow creators that use Unity. I think it's awesome that talented individuals on this platform can work with such a daunting engine and create such awesome work from it. To touch up on something I mentioned earlier about Unity having lots of tutorials online, I think that part of leveling the playing field for Godot will involve needing more tutorials. I know that a few predominant creators already create helpful content, GD Quest and Heartbeast come to mind, and I think that going forward, I'll also 
also want to create some tutorials. So expect a light sprinkle of tutorials between my regular uploads, but by no means will I become a tutorial only channel. I think that by changing game engines to Godot, I hope to bring some more light to the supportive community and to push the envelope of accepted game engines. Another big part of broadening the community includes making notable games. Unity has a very impressive lineup of games. A few come to mind. Hollow Knight, Cuphead, the Ori games, of course, Mr. President. I mean, who could forget this instant classic? And part of the challenge of making Godot a standard for game dev includes creating and publishing successful games that people can compare to. Of course, successful games made by Godot already exist, with one of the more notable ones being Cruelty Squad. It's actually really fun. Check it out. By no means am I bringing this up telling everyone, hey, go out there and make a viral video game, bitch. But I'm doing this to inform some as to why exactly Godot might not be chosen. With the inevitable release of Godot 4.0, I'm looking forward to seeing the game engine on par with the likes of Unity. As for now, the 3D capabilities of Godot are somewhat limited compared to Unity, but if I recall correctly, with the release of 4.0, everything should be overhauled. For my purposes though, with a major focus in 2D and a light interest in 3D, Godot should be plenty. Of course, Godot and Unity aren't the only game engines. GameMaker comes to mind as another engine very capable with 2D development, but personally, I'm not a fan of its price tag. Just to further drive my point home, the game engine isn't what defines the developer. It's what you make of it. So for any listening, focus on what you can do rather than what you might be limited by. I also just want to mention that by no means am I myself a seasoned or experienced game dev, but I figured that my own experiences thus far might prove useful. I'm hoping to find my place in the Godot community and to really properly learn game development while fostering a community of my own. In the very near future, I'm planning on doing a bit of a game engine off, I don't really know what to call it, where I attempt to make the same game in a few different game engines with the limited knowledge I have between all of them. I want to do that now before I develop a strong understanding of Godot, giving me an upper hand. I understand that the topic of this video is a bit more thought provoking than normal, but if you stay till the end, here's an onion ring. Only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing, turning on notifications and liking the video if you enjoyed it. It means a lot to me and helps me out tremendously. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the video. It's been Frogish. See you guys later.